it's finally cooled down enough to give you guys a tour of my balcony garden. Everything has been looking pretty sad, so I've been sprucing up things for the last couple of weeks. Let's show you some of these things. This is the first pot that I did a couple weeks ago. I kept the tags because I knew I wouldn't remember the name. This first plant here is a Black Eyed Susan, which I thought that they were supposed to be black in the center, but apparently not. <laughs> anyway, this one over here is called Lobelia, and it has a red bloom. This strawberry here, I literally just got it because the foliage looks so good in this pot. And that one is called Summer Breeze Cherry. Then this one here is a verbena, this white one, verbena. And I don't have a tag for the blanket flower, but it is here back there. It's gonna have this like yellow orangish color and then the burgundy, which is gonna tie all of that together. And it's gonna look so good, can't wait. Also, I used a leftover um, sparkling cider bottle filled it up with water so that it can slowly water. Recycle. Our next thing here, which has a lot of things that I don't really know, <laughs> uh, probably won't remember all the names. Um, I do have this tag for this um, annual trailer. Tra trailer. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Anyway. We have a, the verbena. This is kind of like the leftovers of all of my projects. Um, begonias, blanket flowers, lobelia. And then also in the back I've had growing here for a while are the morning glory seeds that I'm hoping will jump up and jump onto this trellis and give this a really pretty background. But that's what this guy's looking like and our gnome has really loved his new home. P.S. I would always suggest to have something catching water, especially with like rusty things like this. It always ends up staining the concrete, so that's why I have that right there. My next pride and joy that I put together is this one. This is a coral bark. Japanese maple and it literally is called coral bark because it has coral bark so I knew I wanted to get some coral looking flowers and this is what I ended up with the begonias of course I do have a blanket flower in here um, autumn sage which brings out that coral in the bark and then um, coreopsis I believe that is called I wanted to break up the pinks so I really like orange and yellow for breaking up. It does the job. Over here, we're just about done with this thing. My experiment, oh, well, it didn't go great, but it didn't go awful. I have already taken off one of these tomatoes. This guy is just about ready, but this one only had three and I cut it because I thought, why not? just have it have all its energy going into these three tomatoes, which was a good thought. So then I did that to all of them, but with some of them, I left too many tomatoes on. And so they're starting to turn red, but they're super tiny. And that is not what this variety is supposed to do. It's supposed to grow big. Of course, I know it's because I grew them in too small of a pot, but like I said, I wanted to try it out. And now that I've tried it, I know not to ever do that again, which it wasn't a total bust because I've got tons of suckers off these things. And so I have tomato plants in other, in the ground downstairs. We have our strawberry plant, petunias, rosemary, still have our cuttings going on here. And um, our cilantro never did anything. I grew cilantro so well last year. I started it earlier, so that was my problem. Um, jalapeno plants. I'm trying some cuttings of roses. And we finally have got a wisteria plant starting to grow from seed. So I'm excited about that. I moved my yarrow over here 
he's not looking super great. I think um, I kept him in his nursery pot a little bit longer than I was supposed to, but I cut back some of the dead and he's starting to look good again. He has all these cute little pink flowers. I really like the pink yarrow. Beautiful. Hopping over here, we have our houseplant section, which is just a couple of the houseplants that I felt needed to come outside for a little bit. But I also put some morning glory seeds here so that he can grow up this um, rail. Our fiddly fig is starting to do some stuff here. He has a couple of leaves on him as you can see. So I'm excited about that. Oh yes, and this mulberry tree has been giving tons and tons of mulberries. Bringing back my childhood memories of he climbing up the tree and eating the berries. But also I forgot about the whole part where they fall on the ground and stain your stuff. Oh well. Anyway, that's the houseplant section. Not gonna go into great detail of that because I have houseplant videos. I moved all my succulents here in this little container so that I could um, put annuals in the pot that was that they were in. They just weren't looking good in there, so like I said, I've been moving things around. Over here, I've got another bottle flipped over, watering these. A sweet alyssum, um, dianthus. This one is the, um, oh my goodness, why am I gonna forget now? Anyway, the section's not looking too great. Oh yeah, and I put that little cutting of the yarrow in here. I don't know if he's gonna take or not. Chamomile, that's what that is, chamomile. Anyway, the section is not looking good at all, but I didn't wanna throw the plants away because they weren't looking good. I just wanted to put them somewhere else and see if they'll do anything. Um, brought this pot from my old home. My head pots, you know, I love those. We got some morning glories in here that I'm hoping will go onto this railing. And then um, a little elephant's ear. Coming over here, we got more elephant's ear, which I think I'm giving it way too much sun, so I'm gonna have to figure out where I can put it to um, help it be less stressed. I had to cut back this guy. He did so good last year. I don't know what is going on with him this year, but I had to cut him back in hopes that he'll grow back. But this is that sedum and it's like purple, a purple sedum. I'm hoping it comes back. It's a beautiful, beautiful plant, but we'll see. Um, I moved this rubber tree out here because he was looking kind of like he wanted more sun. Arr, um, arr. Sorry, I'm not a pirate. Our herbs are not doing too great. Peppermint is doing wonderful. Mints just love our weather. But as you can see, the oregano and everything that was over here just died. I've been um, drying our herbs and putting them into old salsa jars. Here we go again. Sweet mint is doing good. Parsley is doing okay. I should probably cut him back because he's starting to... I try to use as much as I can so it doesn't, doesn't go to waste, but it just keeps growing and growing and growing. More than I can use, so I've dried a lot of it and used it that way. Our rose is not looking good at all. He was looking so beautiful and this last summer heat wave kind of, um, yeah, it, it, it did him in. But you know what? I'm gonna keep working with them, see if we can get anywhere. As you can see, our morning glory is starting to trail. That's what we have back here is morning glories. And it looks like they're gonna start blooming here anytime soon. They're called morning glories because they typically bloom in the morning. 
We have our zinnias who are doing very good. <laughs> I'm trying my best not to just take this whole pot apart because it looks awful. It looks so, so bad. I want it to look like those over there, but it looks like this. And I'm trying to wait until these dahlias and these zinnias and the morning glory have bloomed. And then my plan for this pot is to get a um, kumquat tree because my husband really likes kumquats. So I want to put a kumquat tree in that one eventually when everything's done blooming. Here's our leftover begonias and my succulent corner over here. And then another sad one that I'm trying not to redo, which I don't think I can, I don't think I'm going to be able to hold out. I'm trying to hold out because I don't want to mess with this morning glory. I want this morning glory to go up and just go crazy. And he's a quite a bit bigger than the other pots that I've messed with. And so I don't know if it's going to work out, but we've just got a mod podge of everything that isn't doing great. Cosmos, Verbena, Petunia, My Lavender, which is doing good, he finally took, but everything else looks pretty sad in here. All right, going downstairs, we have our Crepe Myrtle, who are finally starting to leaf out. I moved some alliums here. This guy's doing really great, but these guys are looking really sad. I'm, it's really hard for me to throw plants away, even when I know they need to be. <laughs> it's like I spent money on this. I really don't want to get rid of it. Anyway, sorry about that noise. I moved a morning glory right here to see if it'll climb up the trellis on this side. There's a morning glory in this one, and there's a morning glory in this one. So I'm hoping that this whole side of the trellis will be taken over by morning glories. I did have to remove the cups with the morning glories because they were not looking good at all. They looked awful. So I just decided to take them out and plant them into the ground where they would have more space. This is our rose and he is going through a second growth spurg where he's about to put off just tons and tons of blooms again. I'm very happy with this, although he is starting to show some signs of, I don't know. Like I said, this is only my first year growing this rose. I brought him back to health from the clearance rack, and so I don't really know that much about roses. But the bees love him, love the roses. I know that's not really a bee. I don't know what kind of bug that is, though. They're always on this one, though. Anyway. Then we have our bubblegum Supertunia Vista plant. He is looking really good, but I really expected him to explode a lot more than this. Like going over the sides explode. Maybe I still gotta give him some time, I don't know. What do you think? He doesn't know. All right, we have some cucumbers growing up our trellis on this side. I'm really just trying to go all in with this trellis, huh? Trying to get the most out of it. Let me show you. Here's a cucumber, and there's a cucumber. So we have our cucumbers growing up this side of the trellis, and then I have it underneath growing on that side. And then in the middle here, I have clematis, which I don't know is, I don't know. I, I, I just don't know. It has like these brown things on its leaves, but then again, that's happening over here, brown and yellow. I don't know if it's my water, if it's getting too much sun, if I'm just a horrible plant person. I don't know. I'm just, ugh, I don't know. That's the hard part about growing things that you've never grown before is that you really don't have the answers. You really don't have the answers for what's going on. Anyway, here's our maj podge of everything bed. We have our mums, which I cut back one of the mums here. Um, I cut it back because I wanted to see how it would grow if I cut it all the way back because look at that, that doesn't really look very nice. So I wanted to see what would happen if I just lopped it down to the ground. Our morning glories are doing good over here. They're about to grow up and I'm hoping that they'll trail up and then go along the bottom of the rail there. That's my hope. 
So obviously you can see that the desert rose, I think that's what it's called. Um, succulent ground cover has come back. I cut back these chamomile pretty hard, not gonna lie. They were flopping over and I didn't like how they were looking so I cut them back pretty good. I don't know if this one's gonna make it back because I cut them back so short, but there was one here and he just, he's like, no. Yeah, anyway, it is what it is. So we got some more ground cover. Our lemon balm is not doing good here. I don't know exactly what to do. Again, first time growing that plant. I'm sure I'm supposed to cut them back or something. I just, don't, I just don't know what to do. I have tons and tons and tons and tons of tomato plants because of the suckers that came off the tomato plants upstairs. But there's just tons of them in this little section. And I saw back there that there were some zinnia seeds that had sprouted. I don't remember putting zinnias there, so that's weird. But anyway, oh, our Mexican petunia is getting blasted by the heat of that um, dryer exhaust. Obviously you can see our ground cover is going crazy back here. And I moved this house plant here because he wasn't doing good inside and so I just put him back there. Hopefully he'll make some progress. But anyway, so once again this bed does not look good, does not look nice. Um, Come October, I'm gonna really work on making it look nice. But that's all I've got for this tour. Quite happy with the progress of this rose. Stunning. You go girl, you grow girl. I'm just waiting for this um, is just to be overtaken by all the climbing things I have on it. Hopefully it's not too much, but we'll see.